In this lecture, I want to install TeamCT build agent on a Windows. In the next lecture, we will do that on an Ubuntu machine. However, before you skip this lecture, if you don't want to install build agent on Windows, let's go through this one slide that I have first. And then if you don't want to use Windows, you can skip this topic. So when we want to deploy a build agent, we have some steps to take. The first step is that we have to install and configure the build agent service because as I said, build agent is basically a service like in Windows, it's a Windows service that we set up on a server. And then we have to install all the tools and SDKs and everything that we need in order to build or compile our code. For example, if you use .NET, you need .NET SDK. If you are going to use PHP, you have to have PHP. If you want to use Java, you need JDK. So anything that you need in order to build the code, you have to put it on your agent server. Even like if you use Windows, make sure that you have PowerShell and PowerShell is properly configured on your Windows. Or if you are using um, Linux, make sure you have bash and everything is there because basically the build agent is your laboratory for compiling the code. And when you, the agent comes up, you have to authorize it in TeamCity for security reasons. When you create an agent and connect it to TeamCity, you have to go to TeamCity and authorize it. I will show you shortly how we do that. And build agents always connect to TeamCity. TeamCity doesn't connect to build agents in the older versions of TeamCity. The TeamCity server would connect to the agents, but now agents only connect to TeamCity. And this connection is always done via HTTPS. The standard port is 443. So you can specify a different port if you want. You can also do this via the normal HTTP. This is not recommended if both agent and TeamCity server are on public internet. However, if the agent and the server are in a private network, for example, if they are in Amazon Web Services and they are in a private subnet, HTTP is not a problem as well. Okay, so let's go to Windows and I will show you how you can install an agent. I am right now in a Windows machine that basically has nothing other than Chrome installed on it as you see and I want to use this to install agent and connect this agent to my TeamCity server. In order to install the agent the best way is this. You better go to your TeamCity and grab the address of TeamCity go back and basically log into that server. So my username was admin with a password. Once you log into uh, TeamCity agent, click on agents on the top of the screen and you will see that on top right corner of the screen, there is install build agents and it gives me the option of installing it on Windows. And if I click on that, I get the installer exe file downloaded and I just need to run this. So basically this installs the agent as a Windows service. And also I need this IP while the agent is being installed, I grab the IP. And in here, basically all we need to do right now is to tell the agent that where the TeamCT server is, you can say it is in HTTP and then that IP. As I said, if TeamCT server is on public internet, make sure you use HTTPS for the safety and security reasons. For my case, it's only for educational purposes. So I'm only using uh, HTTP. We can click on save and it continues and when it asks for a user to run the service just choose the system account and start the build agent and it's finished now if we go to services you will see that there is team city build agent and it's running check and make sure it's running so this is the step of installing team city agent now as you see there are zero connected agents and that's because as i said for security reasons as soon as agent connects to team city team city doesn't allow it to do anything so we have to go to unauthorized tab and we will find the agent is here you have to click on the authorize button to authorize the agent and then your agent becomes connected sometimes you get this message that it says uh, agent will upgrade if you get this most likely you need to update your jdk on server 
build agent can do that as well but uh, you have the option to upgrade the jdk yourself as well so uh, i just refresh the, the page and we see that now the agent is connected if you don't have the java virtual machine on your uh, server the agent will download and install it so it took like a minute and now uh, agent is connected that's all we need to do after this all we have to do is basically to set up what we need in order to compile and test our code for this course i want to use a very small dotnet core application which basically doesn't do anything it's just like a very small ace.net core application you can use php node.js java any code that you wish and then you just need to install all the stuff you need to compile the code for yourself because i'm going to use dotnet core i can just google .NET Core SDK and get the SDK. For example, let's say I want to get SDK for version 3.1. So I just run the SDK and then my agent will be ready in order to build the code. As I said, if you use PHP or Java or anything else, just uh, you need to install all the command line tools that you need in order to compile the code that's it so my agent is now ready even if i go back to my own uh, computer and refresh the page you will see that there is one agent ready to build